tip of the giggles for the princess today as she got a Saudi's eye view of what they think she'd look like if she lived here, male and all. She was at the house for handicapped children, opened last month at a cost of 15 million pounds and taking 60 of Riyadh's worst cases. This one-year-old girl has cerebral palsy, but thought to be connected with the prevalence of marriages between close relatives. Buried in the great door of Musmak Fort, this spear point marks the birthplace of the Saudi nation. It was here in 1902 that King Ibn Saud led the charge to recapture the fort and bring the country under the rule of the Saud family. Now it's a national shrine and a pleasant place to stroll in the courtyards. And this is where the royal house of Saud came from, 50 miles out in the desert from Riyadh, the very heartland of Arabia. These people were riding in for lunch with the prince and princess. She treated them to a new outfit comprising a dress with spits on the sides over jobber trousers, not something within their range of experience. So the prince and princess looked at the camels, and the camels looked at them. They had a close look at the falcons, too close as far as the princess was concerned. Sitting cross-legged in the Bedouin tent, the inevitable Arab coffee was served. The prince perhaps had had his fill. They paraded the camels before them, beasts picking their way carefully over the priceless carpets. And then they danced their farewells, with two royal princes joining in with borrowed swords. And being applauded for their efforts. Anthony Khan, News of Ten, in Saudi Arabia. Anthony Khan, ITN, in Saudi Arabia.